Okay. Yep. So you have a tree, you've got... I have a tree, I have a menorah, I have, um, i got it all going on. <laughs> and uh, so uh, you guys have been singing and dancing all over the country. How is, how is the, what kind of, who, who started this and what kind of fun it is that? It was all her idea. <laughs> yeah, like Lucy. <laughs> and I wish she would think up something else because it's exhausting, <laughs> frankly. Um, I'm just boogieing down. Yeah, let's, you know, you're the one that brought all this on. It's good. Actually, I think it was your idea, Sharon. Uh -oh. oh, shit. <laughs> and I went, okay. And then we sat and organized it and it all happened. And then it, that was for the first Roxy show. And then it kind of snowballed on to... New York, Chicago, and now we're back to the Roxy. The addiction set in. I don't know. This is a funny thing, though. I was just talking to Ren about it, that um, I'm discovering something about myself in the last year where I hate to repeat myself. I hate to repeat the experience, you know? So um, the Roxy was really it's scary, really and it was its own it's thing. And then one. I guess the next one in New York built on it. Wasn't New York the next yes, one? New York built on that. Mm -hmm. Then we went to Chicago and tried a completely different feel. Which was great. Yeah, that was Loved the whole the R and B feel. And I was yeah. reviewing it the other day and, and looking at the songs that really worked, which were very much in the vein of those musicians. You could tell oh. that the songs that they innately understood really rocked out. That was very interesting to me. It's like hmm. so when you go to a certain town and you want musicians that have the character of that town, you yeah. must choose music that suits them and you. That because, is really because interesting. Because some, some sort of magical coalescence, yeah. some Well, their culture's alchemy. right there, and they can enhance yeah. what and, they know. And then you go on this magical carpet ride through yeah. their, their culture, you know, which was just unbelievable. Such an experience, and I would love to see them again, actually. But um, this next show... Since I don't have them and I don't want to go backwards, I have to do something completely different. And I want to really pare it down, like you said, and just get back to just like friends and family because a good number of these fans now are, you know, they're, they've become like a, a different kind of family. Yeah. Like a work family. Yeah. And I want to do That's something great. that is really so private almost. I know that sounds weird, but not at all. 